what's up everybody welcome to hanging with kareem today we're going to step back in time and check out san diego's first city and one of their original cultural cities we're going to old town today we're going to cruise around check out the vibes check out some of the cool shops they got out to, out to offer out here and we just want to step back and enjoy the day put on your shades and let's roll step in this video is only intended for entertainment and artifact purposes we do not promote smoking like I said guys I, I don't uh, encourage smoking um, if you if, if you don't smoke um, I don't, you don't need to start because I'm, I'm on this video but for me you know I, I love a good cigar I love a good uh, smoke every once in a while here and um, the point of this video is to show you the old-school ways of how we step back in time and, and see the beauty of everything right here so we're just gonna walk through this beautiful museum. We're gonna start off with the pipes. Look at that. Dude, look at that. Get you one of these. Every, everybody got a family member or, or, or a friend or a grandpappy or a great grandpappy. If you guys are lucky enough to have him still in your life. Yeah. Puffing on that. Man, the one thing that you guys can't see on this video is, is, is the beautiful aroma, the smell. Man, it smells so nice in here. It's like a sweet vanilla flavor. You get like that tobacco. You get kind of like that, that the ambiance of, of the whole uh, uh, rolling paper and all that. Man, it smells so nice in here. So we're just going to, we're just going to, we're just going to, we're just going to, like I said, it's raw footage. We're going to show you around. Look at this. So you know what I mean? It ain't a day, man. It ain't a day unless you go get a, a shave, a haircut, and a nice cigar. Man, where we get that at, man? Sign me up. Super cool. Look at all these. So these are the. the <laughs> you break the pipe, you bought it, man. I like both kinds of music. Super cool. They got some humidifiers there for you guys. Uh, some super cool lighters, table lighters. So it's a really cool place to come in and get, get add on to your collection. Man, now we're gonna get to, to, to the dope spots. Some Zippo lighters. I mean, are you are you really even a smoker if you don't got a Zippo lighter? Super cool, man. Look at all these. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, man. What's that? All these, they're all old? Oh, yeah. Oh, you're not, you, you aren't near the old ones yet. Really? Where, yeah, where's the old ones? In that case or in the whole collection? In the whole collection. Well, in that case, the one in the upper left-hand corner, that big stone beaver. That's the oldest one? In that case. Oh, in that, that case. That one's only a thousand years old. A thousand, huh? Yeah. The oldest oh, look at these things. The other case. What you gonna do with that, man? Front corner. Really? Yep. Dude, you got some uh, vintage uh, uh, matches. So you can see how it was back in the day. Pack number one. Shoot. Pack the bottom? Yep. Holy smokes. Eight to three, yep. three thousand years old? Yep. Somewhere between five and eight. Maybe older than that. Look at, man, look at these. So these are the ancient packs of cigarettes, man. Back in the day, look how they put that cover in there. Yeah, there's eight rooms, three on that side. Oh, change this side, we eight rooms. First, we have a marble. Super cool. Wow. Get you your marble collection on. We got some more of the Zippos over here. And look at this, a cool thing. Dude. Like it's not just just the cigars and everything. Look at the fixture. So the display case we're looking at. That's one of the originals. I'm gonna back up a little bit so you guys can see it. One of the original displays. They got some cool things here on the museum here. They got some 
old school marshal bass deputy sheriff i mean some 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 dope belt buckles a little bit of everything out here man this is cool once again like i said the thing that you guys are not getting on the video is the smell in here man it's so beautiful it smell like it smell like i want me a nice cigar super cool they got the velvet touch and he put a bigger number in Look at that. Hand carved. You guys can see that. 1870, we got 1880. Man. Wow. Yeah, he was we might advance the technology, but I'll tell you what, they were way ahead of us in the pipe game. Which one is it? Look at that. Uh, that's the oldest one. There's some other cool artifacts. Original sheriff uh, handcuffs. Super cool. They got some pocket knives here. Yeah, just super cool, man. Got some knife kit. Oh, look at that, man. Ooh, wee. What's that? Oh, you can buy it? No way. Man, I'm about to pick me up one of these old school pistols, boy. What's up? $90? You can buy it? Oh, man, I need one of those back there. That's so cool. They can't make them go bang. No bang. No bang. Yeah. <laughs> But once once I gift it to somebody, then I'll let them know afterwards. Like, yeah, you can't you can't shoot them, but these are still really nice. They're super cool. Some of my uh, uh, police officers, sheriff friends, why don't you guys go ahead and uh, hit me up? And let me know which one you want me to pick up for you guys. I think I like that one back there. I like the old school. That's awesome. Yeah, oh, he got one too. Let's see that one real quick. Oh wow! Like I said, that's that's that, that's that's a beautiful thing out here. Mm -hmm. Man, so what? So what? So what would we call that one? This is called a Lamat. Lamat. Lamat pistol. All right, and then what? Well, what? Well, Carrie still the original six well, bullet decorative replica. This right, but a they're... nine shot pistol. A nine shotter. And a so, shotgun barrel. So who would be who would be carrying that? It was a cavalry. Cavalry. Okay. cavalry. That's awesome. That's awesome, right? And your name is? My name is Joe. Joe. Well, I appreciate it, man. Joe's over here having a good cigar. Uh, like I said, these these gentlemen out here are keeping the dream alive for us, for for, for we can come out here and have a good time. Um, I mean, we don't know. I mean, maybe Joe was around in those times too. But there's a lot of uh, uh, the good spirits always stay around. That's what I heard. Yeah, right. Yeah, there is. That's so well, cool. If that's the case, I'll yeah. Uh, yeah. We would have probably left a long time ago. Yeah, you're right. But he's, uh, yeah, but like I said, the good ones stay around. I think so. Yes, they do. Yeah, they've never done anything malevolent. Yeah. That's right. what goes through And Philippe, he is easy going and plays. He, he looks at us and sticks his tongue out and runs off. Wow. Know, moves things, but it's always folk in fun. Right. Whereas, uh, the lady on the back stairway, I think she's just upset, but not with us. Maybe it's his wife. No. No, no we don't know that. He was nine. He was nine years old. Oh, oh nine young years. gentleman, young gentleman. And, uh, and uh, Kate, if that's her name, oh. yeah. is, uh, she was murdered next door in oh. the closest uh, stairway. Wow. So just in case you guys confused about what they're talking about, they're talking about the, the, uh, the beautiful spirits that are still around here. Uh, and they, they come around, like I said, they, say they got two of them that they know of so far. Um, Philippe is a little nine-year-old gentleman, young young boy, and Kate was. Kate was in her twenties uh, yeah. and very beautiful. And uh, do we know the cause of death? Probably, well, probably stabbing and pushed down the stairs. But they never found the body, so no one knows. And wow. There, there's not even an obituary. Wow. Now, hey, you guys heard you guys heard it here first. Check this out. You got to this, this is the thing, and we this oh, story wow. is listed in this book. It's by Brian Clune. Okay. And it's uh, Haunted uh, Tales of San Diego. 
So you guys, I know, I, I know, I know yeah, a handful of you guys that are all into this, and you guys love this stuff. Check this out. All right, let's take a look. He's got a bookmark for us. Yeah. And this side of the page. Yep. And we are listed in it. it tells the complete story of Philippe and uh, and Kate. So if somebody wants to pick up a book like this, you guys offer it here? No, or no. You do the, not? the author of the thing, it's from the Haunted America series, and uh, Haunted Heart of San Diego. I guarantee it's uh, available on Amazon though. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow. And uh, and you have to forgive me. I didn't catch your name, Mr. I'm Jeff. 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 Mm -hmm. Jeff. Yep. Jeff Long. Jeff is our, our sheriff here today. That's right. And uh, today. I, sh I shouldn't say today, I should say no, every day. Not every day. Not every day, all right. Some days cavalry, <laughs> some days Marine Corps. Yeah. First cigar store in Southern California. Oh my goodness, wait, we did not catch that one more time. 1868 to 1872, this was the first tobacco store in Southern California. Oh Other general stores in LA and maybe even up as far as San Francisco uh, sold cigars, but they weren't tobacconists. These guys were experts. They imported. They knew what they had. Wow. Give me that date one more time. 1868 to 1872. Two gentlemen who um, were originally from Quebec, Canada and had been fur trappers. Uh, when that industry died out in the 1850s, they went back up to Quebec and then they got a little cold and said, let's go someplace warm and open up a tobacco store. And down to San Diego they came, opened this up, leased this from the Rodriguez family, and uh, the rest is history. <laughs> yes, yes. Now here's a here's a random question. Do we have any clue what the lease was going around those days? How much? How much the lease was? Oh, yeah. absolutely not. Right. <laughs> Dollar a day and all you. I mean, you, I was about to say, do you oh, think no. you think it was a monthly rate, or that monthly rate came on no, later on a lot? It was probably a, a monthly rate. Right. Maybe a yearly rate, but there was a lot of credit extended. Yes. Yeah, because it was people looked long term. Yeah. Do you understand that? There was a lot of credit before everybody went out and ruined it. But on top Without of that, credit cards. You signed your name. You were held to it. Oh yeah. Yeah. That is awesome, man. I appreciate it, man. We got, if you don't mind, I got, I got this, I got this uh, handsome gentleman over here smoking on a pipe too. So what are we puffing on? Sorry, sir. Well, I got a little, um, let's see, got my kit right here. Yeah. Got a little vintage Flying Dutchman. Wow, look at that. Yeah, that Made in amazing. Holland. This is actually, this is actually the, the Sutliff, um, Sutliff repro. Yeah, wow. Well, but this is, shop is closed, this is probably, Sunday, this is without a doubt, I think, right now, the most I unique tobacconist in the world. I've lived in, in London for 10 years. I've been all over Europe and yes. I've, been, I've been to both the Nat German shops in New York, uh, yeah. Davidoff. Yeah. This is, I'd rather spend time here than any place else I've ever been that is as far awesome. as a tobacconist. This that is, is awesome. You guys, you hear that? And I know some of my uh, really good friends and followers, and even my my family out there in London. Look, man, no disrespect to you guys. Uh, just, you know, I, I've been Smiths in Charing Cross Road. I, I think they're gone now. But then there was also there's Foxes in St James, and the Davidoff shop in St James as well. Uh, and they're all wonderful shops. But this is the most unique tobacconist I've ever been in. It is a it is an incredibly unique place. And the the great thing about this because this store this place burned in 1872 wow. and in the late 1960s present owner did an architectural survey with the permission of the state he paid to rebuild the building on historical grounds on and, and on the historical plan and this is as close as as you can get to 1868 i mean this is this is what it was well hey i i i can't imagine that the guys that were here in 1872 um wouldn't be even more impressed with this place wow that's awesome. All this cabinetry is all original. I mean, it, it's all. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, we saw we saw the dates on some of them, so I made sure that the, that the viewers saw that. And like you said, the, the cool thing about uh, what, what what I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name one more time. Are you know, I'm gonna... Oh, I'm just uh, Jack Layabout. Jack Jack Layabout. <laughs> you guys heard it. So the cool thing that Jack Layabout just said is like it was very unique. He said it's one of the most unique. So he didn't say my favorite. I don't like this. I don't like that. He said the most unique. And then he also commented that. It is one of the places that if the original uh, folks came down, they would have been impressed too. It's a really cool setup. 
Uh, you know, like here's a little, a little thing you might want to know. Yeah. See those windows over there? Yeah. The, those the frame in the humidor, right? Uh, those came from the town hall of Carson City, Nevada, ah. and uh, have been incorporated oh, into okay. this shop. And they've, Carson City has tried to buy them back, but they're being used yeah. right now. Hey. That's a quick shout out to my to my uh, South Lake Tahoe, Reno, and Carson City family that's following me. Yeah, guys Look at that. <laughs> you guys need to come down here and check out those windows. You're right. You don't be, hey, Carson City, you can't get it back. It's down here in the beautiful San Diego. <laughs> hey, they always say, if you, up, if you show up with enough money, everything's for sale, have you but in, not out here. Have you gone in the humidor? No, I'm, I'm, I'm going there next. Yeah, there. yeah, I'm just, we're, we're going through the museum. Well, look. Seriously, I, I greatly appreciate it. I mean, you can see this gentleman is looking so nice. What is your Whatever. your vlog? Your vi are you live right now? You no, know, we're not live yet. No, 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 no. Okay. We're, what, so what's your what's your vlog? It's it's right it's called Hanging with Kareem. Mm -hmm. Kareem? Yeah, Kareem. K A R I M. Okay. Okay, now we got to the most beautiful part, the history, the beauty of everything. You guys got to see some of the culture, um, hear about some of the the original tales. The gorgeousness, you got to uh, see some recommendations. Now we're going to do the fun part. Well, I think actually the fun part already happened. This is just a, the added bonus. Okay, now we're, now we're to the fun part. So what kind of cigars do you like? Light, medium, full-bodied, flavored, or unflavored? All right. Well, I'm going to... If the camera was off, I would act cool, but I'm going to go ahead and say, I like me a little flavored cigar. Okay, I'll tell yeah. you what, you can't go wrong with Judge Bean. It's a light-bodied cigar, Dominican tobacco, regardless of what it says on the jar. Yeah. And it's literally flavored with vanilla bean and spiced rum. Look at I mean, guys, let me taste something. Those, the jar. these are not the old school prices. These are the original prices. You are not gonna go wrong. Look, can you guys? Smell this. All right. You're gonna smell it with me. Wow. Now if, you, now, if you notice, I smelled the cigar. I did not pick it up, because once you put it to your nose, you bought it, which is a good thing if you really want it, but that, that, that's how you can get that aroma, but look at this. I mean, we're talking about, we don't even want to bring up the gas prices, but I'd rather walk and grab me a couple cigars and enjoy the afternoon. Absolutely. That's cool. Well, we'll definitely take one of those. All right, my friend. Um, no, no, no. Actually, no, matter of fact, let's go ahead. I'm going to uh, gift a couple of them, so. Uh, two of you guys are gonna get one. We're gonna get three total. I don't like. Uh, I don't have enough uh, people. I like to get them twelve. Okay. Would you like me to cut one of those? We're gonna cut one definitely. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try one outside. Yeah, and uh, you guys better hope that I don't love it because I might cut all three of them. But we got more video to do it, so maybe tomorrow we'll come back. We're here for a couple of days. And the one on the outside here is the one that is cut. Awesome. Here is the pack of matches right in the middle. Wow. You guys cannot be, I'm talking about, okay, once again, we're talking about three for $11, matches, a beautiful souvenir bag. And they're really good. And they're really good. And we haven't even got to that point yet. I'm not even, I'm not even giving you the review yet. That's gonna be next level for you guys. But yeah, check this out. This, this is amazing, you know, honestly. You can keep this bag. You can, those matches right there, like I showed you guys earlier in the display case, they got a really cool uh, a history book of matches. Uh, you know, add it to your collection. You know, I know some of you guys got some uh, old school phone numbers written on there. You might have some some uh, math problems. Some of you guys even started a business on a matchbook. But um, you know, just spark up one or two of them. Keep it for your collection. It's super cool. It's nice. Now let's say I want to pick up a couple more cigars that are a little bit smaller, more like your kind of have something like that i guess well that one is anise flavored okay. so it is soaked in anisette and uh gives you a rich full-bodied um black licorice taste oh. yeah so if you like black licorice that's the way to go if you don't uh, leave it alone <laughs> right so here's the crazy thing so some of my uh, followers you guys know that you guys smoke that double apple hookah that gives you that same kind of black licorice taste. Mm -hmm. It's not really, because everybody knows you're not smoking apples. You're smoking that black yeah. licorice taste. So this might be something that's really cool Absolutely. for my for my uh, Mediterranean friends, for my Arabic friends here. I know you guys Absolutely. like it. Something on the go. Um, and for your Arabic friends, uh, marhaba. Mar yes. <laughs> Look at that. All love, you guys. Look at that. That is so cool. Okay, you got well, well, this is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna actually go light up my cigar. I'm gonna sit out there for a couple of minutes. Um, and then I'm gonna decide if I'm gonna add some more to it. But like I said, we're gonna um, 
because of all the excitement today, we got here a little bit later than, than we wanted to today. So we might finish off the rest of this vlog in the morning. But we're gonna go ahead and start this off. Here we go, guys. All right, you guys, like I said, we just got done. We got purchased our cigars. We're sitting out here on this beautiful deck. Let me show you this, it's super cool. So as you can see, like everything here is just takes you back in time, kind of slows down everything in your life for a minute. Beautiful American flag, salute. Just like I said, really cool ambiance, man. Like I said, just everything kind of slows down in life. You just and, and enjoy what, what's around you, enjoy the peace. Um, that's one thing, one of my favorite things about Old Town is that, you know, it's not the, the, the hustle and bustle. Um, I know there's a lot of beautiful cities out there, but you don't have people running around uh, trying to sell you stuff, trying to hustle on things, or trying to, you know, put things in your hands. It's just a really cool, like, laid back, enjoy, enjoy your afternoon. Uh, highly recommend you come in, get you a nice cigar after uh, either either lunch or right before dinner. Just kind of, you know, let it time pass. Um, but yeah. I agree with everything you just said. Yes, sir. <laughs> right. Yes, sir. All right, all right. You don't want to put you in the camera then. All right. And your name was? I'm Sean. Sean, how you doing, man? Kareem. Very nice to meet you. As you can see, everything I just said, Sean is doing. He's agree, enjoying it. Yeah, yeah. Enjoying it, hang out. Uh, super cool. Like I said, it's, it's, it's a really nice place. I'm gonna flip it one more time so you guys can kind of really see. You know, just it's, you can people watch. Uh, everybody, like I said, you got all walks of life coming through here. They have a beautiful little horseshoe courtyard. And you got, like I said, a couple of restaurants in the corner, some historic museums, uh, some beef jerky over there. We're gonna walk you through the historic hotel here in a minute but right now I had to stop and get the cigar everybody's got their own their own taste you know some people like to stop for some tequila some drinks for me I just want a nice cigar and enjoy the afternoon while I gather my thoughts and we make sure that we get you guys on the next one all right I'm gonna go ahead and set you guys back up all right now the most important thing about these cigars is you want to make sure you put uh, the right spot in your mouth I know some of you guys are new to this but uh, like I said, the gentleman cut it right here. Uh, we called him Sheriff Jeff today. And uh, we're gonna go light it up. I'm gonna give you a little taste flavor. And then we're gonna move on. We got a lot more to see. I mean, you cannot beat this deal. Like I said, three cigars, a really cool um, matchbox. You can add it to your guys' collection. I mean, you're getting that for $3 and some change. Um, we do live in a, an era that the taxes are still part of life, and it's always will be. Death and taxes, the only thing guaranteed. So, uh, but like I said, man, for under under a tank and a half of gas, you can walk all day and get you some three cigars and enjoy the afternoon. Sounds like a way better plan to me than driving for about five to six miles to get nowhere. I agree with Kareem on that statement too. <laughs> <laughs> Over there. Yeah, that's super cool. Band. Yeah. Three-piece band. Yeah, we're gonna hopefully get an opportunity to go over there and check it out. We don't know if we can fit it all in in one day, but we're gonna try our best. That's what I tell you guys. Like, you know, make sure you guys come out here. You can do it in one day if you if you really want to get through it. But I always say, slow it down. Enjoy it. Afternoon. If you get stuck at one or two places, you get stuck at one or two places. That's the whole point of this. That's why I said, you know, extend it. Get here about three or four nights. Um, all my friends and family that come here for a weekend thinking they're going to see San Diego in the weekend, I always laugh at them like, yeah, good luck. Been here 13 years, I haven't seen all of San Diego. For right. I burned through the whole book of matches before I even light the cigar. Hey, right, don't judge me, okay? It's been a minute. Yes, I'm one of I'm, I'm one of the new guys. You know, we do the the cheating way. You know, the torches and all that. No, no, no. Today we're gonna do it the right way.
We're getting there. That's, that's only the third match. I got about 20 more to go. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's 38. This is built. That's the, the year You guys catch that? That's awesome. One more time. One more time. I, I want to make sure that they see the beauty of the story. So, and, uh, this is a remake of an old, uh, this is an actual building from the 1800s, and that flag is from the year this was built. Wow. That's 38. Yeah, 36 or 37 started. Yeah, see? That's what I'm saying. Down. Conversate, talk to people here. You know, you, you might learn a thing or two. We didn't even notice that, and that's the beauty. Like I said, that's that's the one beauty about this area, that everybody's willing to share some information with you and help you out with, with, with everything. 1800s. That is awesome, man. That is awesome. <laughs> Shout out to all my, my, my military family out there. We salute you guys. Thank you guys so much for your service and all your hard work you do. Um, every time I see a beautiful American flag, I always remind me of, uh, of all your guys' sacrifices and all your love that you guys do to allow people like us to come out here and enjoy it. So I, every time I see an American flag, I always stop, salute it, uh, show it some love, and I always give you guys a shout out. Um, way too many names to obviously name at once, but... Uh, Shout out to you guys and thank you so much for keeping our, our dreams alive and, and for all that you do. Yeah. We're going back to my cigar. All right. All right. So let me, let me, let me ask you, what, so what are we smoking today? This is just a regular house cigar. Okay. It's uh, after tax. It's like $3 a pack. Yeah. Uh, so we're telling you, you can't go wrong with that. Where are you going to get that? This is a Nicaraguan plant. They have three house cigars that are made from Honduras here. And when we go to the front and to the left, the ones that have the recent year and sticker on it, yeah. it's all house blends. That you get three for under 30 bucks. Wow, that's awesome. And that's the thing though, you know, people think like when we're coming to these type of places, these, these old school original spots, they always think that it's going to be automatically breaking the pockets. You know, like I said, they're, they're, they got something for everybody. Yeah, you and just gotta do your research on the price of what you like. Right, right. And like I said, when you come here, you look at their artifacts, look at their beauty, take some pictures. But in order for them to keep their dream alive, spend a couple of dollars, you know, come out here, get you a good cigar. Everybody's got a pipe smoke, everybody's got a cigar smoke. If you don't, they got some really cool artifacts here, some replicas, you know, purchase something, spend a couple of dollars here. Just thank them for all their, their work and knowledge. They got some really cool stories. And like I said, once we get everything, all put together you guys are gonna see some of the beautiful stories that that, that, that I uh, got an opportunity to uh, to hear about and um, and it just keeps going man you, you never know you know you puff a cigar uh, you meet some really cool folks you, you you learn some history it just that's the beauty of it all that, that, that's what I love about it 